In today's project, we're going to make a simple digital clock using an ESP32 microcontroller with the TM1637 display. And without any further ado, let's dive right in. You're going to need an ESP32 microcontroller, or you could use an Arduino board, but you will need a real time clock like this DS1302 RTC module, which allows you to get the date and the time from an Arduino board. The good thing about this microcontroller that it comes with a built-in real-time clock that we're going to use to display the time on this four-digit display which comes with an integrated circuit basically it allows you to control this module using four pins which are the clock, the data, the VCC and the GND for that you will need few jumper wires I'm going to use male to female and let's start off by connecting the GND it goes to the GND of the board next we have the VCC that goes to the 3.3 volts the third pin is labeled data I'm gonna hook it up to the pin number 16 which is number 8 from this side we have the clock pin which goes to the pin number 17 once you do that we can move on to the code and check how this display works basically we have to install a library from the library manager just write the name TM1637 and it is the first one that pops up by Avishai I've already installed it using an install button to understand how this library works we can open up an example sketch using file examples all the way down we have the M1637 test let's open it up actually we don't need the Arduino library because we have an ESP32 microcontroller we only need to include the TM library for the data I have used the pin number 16 and the clock is connected to the pin number 17 then they have created this display object of type TM1637 display that takes in the clock and the data pins and the rest of the code is testing the display by displaying different characters and numbers we're gonna talk about these functions later on so let's give it a try you have to select the board that you are using I'm using a Node MCU32S that is connected to the COM number 11 and hit upload if you don't know you have to hold down the boot key if you get the message connecting I've talked about this in our first video about this microcontroller and there you go now we have your numbers that are displayed with different ways you could even display negative numbers like minus 12 and custom characters that you can create now let's understand how these functions work the first one is called display.setBrightness to adjust the brightness of the display basically it takes in a value between 0 and 7 7 is the highest and 0 is the lowest next we have this function set segments which takes in an array of 4 digits to display them the next important method is clear to clear the display so that we can display different numbers the function that we're going to use in this project is called show number des which takes in a number like 301 optionally you can pass in a few other parameters like boolean if you set it to false it's gonna leave the other uh, digits empty but if you set it to true it's gonna add zeros for the other digits the next two parameters is the length in this case we have two uh, digits and the position so that we can put the number anywhere we want if you set it to one the number will be printed from this digit like in this case we have 14 in the middle and these are empty because we have changed the position to 1 and that's all what you have to know about the sketch to understand how to work with the display basically we will use the simple time sketch that comes with the ESP32 package and we are going to adjust it to display it using this 4 digit display to do that we can go to file examples and under the ESP32 package we have few examples we're gonna go under time and the sketch is called simple time basically it uses the real time clock of the board to display your local time using the serial monitor our microcontroller gets connected to a Wi-Fi network so that it can go to the internet and get the date and the time from one of these NTP servers like pool.ntp.org if you want to learn more about the sketch I'm gonna add a link for a video I've talked about it in depth and how it works the only thing that you need to know about is that you have to provide the sketch with the SID and the password of the router so that we can get access to the internet for me I have a network that is called checker 
and I'm gonna write its password under this parameter. You may need to change the GMT offset, that depends on your country. For me, it is zero. Now, instead of writing the date and the time using the serial monitor, let's go on top and include our library using include. The name is TM16 37 display dot h. After that, we can create the object. I'm gonna call it display, which takes in the clock pin number 17 and the data is number 16. You could also create variables for these, but I'm gonna stick with that. We only have to adjust this function to print the local time. First, I'm gonna set the brightness using display dot set the brightness like three, which is about a medium brightness. To get the time, we are going to use this time info struct using int. I'm gonna call the first one hrs for hours equals. For that, we use the name of the object time info, then dot tm underscore hour. And let's add another one for the minutes using time info dot tm underscore minute. The easiest way to display the time is by creating another variable that contains four digits using int and call it time equals by multiplying the hours by 100 and add the minutes you will get exactly the four digits that represents the time of your local country using these variables as i said we're going to use the function display.showNumberThis which takes in the number that we want to display and it is called time so this function is called over and over again we need to make sure to clear the display each time. Let's go on top and use display.clear. And that's all what you're going to need to create this simple digital clock project. I've made a little mistake. The name is display. And now we have the time displayed using this four digit display. We can improve it a bit by turning on and off the colon in the middle. We have this function display dot show number decimal ex that takes in the time and a binary number that depends on the kind of display that you are using with just a colon you have to pass in this value and it's my case i didn't have a dot close to the digits and that turns on the colon but we want to turn them on and off for that let's add a little bit of delay after turning the colons on then we turn them off and wait for one second again so it seems like a blink sketch and there you go we have created this simple digital clock using the ESP32 microcontroller if you have any question or comment about this project make sure to write it under the comment section down below and I will see you in the next one